Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you a fun drill slash game that you can use to help develop your player's overall softball skills. This drill slash game is a great way to either finish up a practice or use as a fun last practice of the season game to reward your players. The equipment needed is a tee, two bow nets, some balls, two buckets, and nine pylons. So here's how you do the all-in-one softball drill. So we're going to set up the actual diamond. So you're going to put one bow net here, and then one bow net this way. Okay. You're going to place several balls beside first base here some beside second base and then some by third base <clears throat> this is where you're going to need your pylons you're going to have one pylon right here and then you're going to do four pylons here four pylons here so this is representing the right field alley gap and this is the left field alley gap <clears throat> okay so now we're going to set up the T okay and you're going to have two buckets so you're going to put one empty bucket here or you can have it with some weights or balls in this one and then you're going to sit the other bucket just sitting on top of it nice empty bucket okay you have chalk put a line there it's optional so here's how the rules work okay so now you're going to divvy up your team your players into two teams okay so you can have one team here and then you can have the other team waiting for their turn on the other side okay so <clears throat> And you're going to need to use a stopwatch or someone's phone to time this. So if Team Blue is going, and this is, how, this is up to you how you want to do you can do, you know, one team blue team goes and one team on red team goes, and then you tally up the actual times for each one of these, okay? So if Team Blue player one's going first, they're going to have their player starting. So there's going to be a T. And all they're going to be doing is hitting the ball off the tee. You're going to want them to hit it into these square areas over here, like in this area, because this is where you can shave off time slash get points, okay? So what you're going to do, so as soon as this player hits that ball, so they hit it, say, over here. So say they hit it. Over here, so they hit the, as soon as they hit the ball, okay, <clears throat> this player is running, okay? Time goes when they hit the ball. So they're actually going to come. They're going to come off the bag, touch the pylon, and dive back into first, head first, okay? So they're going to dive back head first. They're going to pick up a ball, and they're going to throw the ball into the bonnet, okay? So they want to make sure they get in the bonnet. After that happens, they're going to take off again. They're going to slide into two. They're going to pick up a ball, and they're going to throw it into this <clears throat> bonnet. Then your player is going to go slide into three. They're going to pick up a ball, and they're going to try to hit this bucket off this one so the bucket actually falls. Okay, so this bucket's actually going to try to fall off on the ground. And then when they finally do get it off, they're going to come home, and when they pass that line, that's when the time stops. Okay, so just to summarize, hitting it off the tee, running past one, touching the pylon, sliding back head first, okay, into one, taking a ball, throwing it in the bonnet, going to two, okay, picking up a ball, throwing it in the bonnet, going to three, sliding to three, picking up a ball, trying to hit that bucket off and then they're going to come home and that hit that bucket off and they're going to come past 
home plate. Okay, so whatever time that is, and then you can have the red team go, and then when the red team goes, same thing, and then you can do either head to head, or you just tally up the actual times for all the blue team and all the red team. It's is a really fun game. Again, the players really get into it, um, and so when an example, if say the red team goes, let me just clean some of this up. Okay, so I'll clean up these lines. Okay, so say, for example, red team is going to go now. So they they made it back in whatever time it was. Red team is going to go. They're going to hit the ball. They're going to hit it, and they actually hit it in that square area over there. Red team is going to go. Okay, come back, slide into one, throw that ball into the bonnet. Slide into two, pick a ball, throw it in the bonnet. Slide into three, take that ball, hit the bucket off, and then they're going to come home. Okay, so when they come home here, when they pass, because they got it in this area over here, this is where it's up to you. They can take off like two seconds, three seconds, five seconds off their actual time so again this is simulating them hitting it in to the gaps where you can place the pylons whatever you want right but this is hopefully them simulating hitting in between left center right center right they can get that ball in that area um so if they get it in there then they get time shaved off their actual time so it forces them to try to hit it into those gaps so again fun game i'll get a lot of really competitive Players are working on so hitting, you know, throwing, diving, accuracy, throwing, hitting stuff, right? So really fun game. Uh, whenever we have our last practice of the season, usually play this plus the tic-tac-toe game, um, you know, the relay game, some other games, just to wrap things up, have fun, you know, award your players on, you know, some of the things. And, and you know, but, again, this is a great drill to work on overall the whole, their overall softball skills in a great, fun, competitive game. Uh, enjoy this drill. Thanks for watching Easy Softball Drills for your practice plan. Make sure to check out our other videos and to subscribe to our channel.